This is a 5SP418 next to my 60 pound, 8 month, half red nose, half American Staffordshire pit. Just so you can see how big this fucking speaker is. So, pulled it all out. Um, as you can see, it's it was really stiff when I got it, and now it just moves really easily. Um, over here, this tinsel lead, I could technically solder back on. But this one over here, it actually pulled off part of the uh, lead going to the tent going to the uh, coil so the subs pretty much done nothing uh, failed mechanically on spiders the gasket crack dust cap and uh, the cone are all I have left of the sp4s one of them was fine one of them blew two tinsel leads on one coil had them sold within about three hours of the show that I blew them at. Well, I didn't really blow them at the show. I blew them about fucking ten miles from the show after driving a hundred miles. So, who's not too happy about that one? So, as you can see, I cut off the voice coil. And um, right now that's hanging in my car. But you can see there's one of the tinsels that popped out and then... There's the other one, and uh, didn't feel like repairing it because these SP4s they were nasty, but they didn't do too good in my wall. So two weeks without any base, I got bored, so I hooked up my uh, two DD M3Bs strapped on uh, my last old 15. It had a little slit in the surround right there from a drill when I was taking them out. And uh, this didn't even really last maybe like 10 seconds on like a quarter volume. Um, first that, first uh, this lead right here broke the screw and then this lead completely popped off. <clears throat> And there's only one terminal down there because it was shaking so bad. So I decided to tear it down. And uh, it's the stiffest part of the whole cone. Kind of sad. It's got a uh, three and a quarter inch uh, voice coil. These coils, like, look at that coil rock right there. Ugh! See, is there any more? Yeah, there's like more over here, but check out that coil rock right there. That's no good. It's no bueno. So, farewell to the Autotex. I got something new. Something I just spent about five hours in the car going to get. So, this was now two systems ago. The uh, SP4s were now one system ago, so I got new subs. That's right. Two supercharged DD95Is. Direct leads. I know I'm going from a three, four inch coil to a three inch coil, but I have a feeling that these are going to perform way better in my wall. Um, I can't even fucking move it. It's way stiffer than my SP4s, and I did get the loose suspensions on them. Um, instead of dual 2s, I got dual 1s this time. Um, for all of you that don't know what the uh, supercharged option that DD offers... It's a pretty much just like a chunk of neo magnet on top of the gap, and uh, it pretty much adds uh, extra motor force um, during high excursion. Um, I had a buddy that had two, uh, or actually I should say he had four 
uh, supercharged 9512Is. And uh, we did a little trade with some cash for uh, the motor and the basket of the blown SP4 and then some cash and the good SP4. And uh, he gave me these motors and uh, went ahead and reconed them to 18s. Um, I had one of uh, Jeremy Weber's guys, the dude that bought my, uh, or built my box in my car. He, uh, had one of his buddies do a recon on it, and it's pretty fucking clean, if you ask me. There's no extra glue anywhere. It looks straight from factory. So, um, literally cannot move this cone. I can't fucking wait to get these in. Fucking beefy. And, uh, really hope I don't blow these because these recones were not cheap. So, just uh, stay tuned. I'm gonna do my best to be at Slam Allergy, but no promises yet, guys.